HD Ultra is a video magnifier CCTV made by Enhanced Vision. So the great thing about this magnifier is not only can you magnify reading material for near vision, but you can also use the distance camera to read um, from far away, so distance viewing. We'll go through some settings and starting with how to turn this thing on. Here's the switch. Takes a little while to get going. And here we go. This near and distance camera has a few different options, but the main thing you need to know is the lenses right here and it's connected to this arm that moves kind of side to side and it, the camera also tilts. For near viewing, you want the camera to be pointed down with the lens. So just for fun, I put a um, little notepad underneath and you can see already how, how large it's magnifying. So plus for increasing magnification. You may need to move the material too as you increase magnification. All right, to decrease, minus. All right, so let's get a little, let's go somewhere in the middle there. Something like that. And now you can use the mode button to change the contrast. All right, clicking it once to go from color to black and white. Again, you got enhanced positive, enhanced negative. You can see how high contrast those words are. And then there's some blue and yellow, green and black, yellow on black, and back to full color. It's also possible to do some writing underneath the camera. Here's an example of what, you know, a textbook might look like or some other reading material. As far as increasing magnification, let's see what it looks like. Pretty nice. And if we want to change the mode, black and white, this enhanced positive is really nice. This enhanced negative is extremely high contrast, which I really like. The colored ones are really good too. And back to full color, which is really not as high contrast as the rest. You can also use the remote to go through all the different functions and do some other stuff we'll go through. Just make sure the unit's powered on in the back with the switch, and then you can turn the power on or off with the remote later. But as far as using um, you know, the magnification levels, you can still use it um, with the remote. You can use the mode using the remote. The thing I like to use the remote for are line markers. So you can hold on to this LM button for a couple seconds. And there you have a line marker. So there's that one there. If you hold on to it again, there's a horizontal one that I don't know, it's not as useful to me. Hold on to it again, and you have the masking lines, which I think are really 
super useful. You hold on to it again, and then you have that vertical masking line, which I don't normally use. Hold on to it again for normal. And so let's go through these again. Let's just do the horizontal ones. So if you wanna change the width of the lines, you just use the ULM for upper and LLM for lower line marker. So let's just see what happens if we um, use the upper. All right, and lower. So now it's like a nice place marker. I zoomed in a little bit and I was playing around with the line markers. As far as moving it to the next line, you really have to move the, the material. It's probably faster that way than messing with the line markers. That type of thing. Now we'll skip the um, vertical one and go to this mask. So the mask is great. It's the same thing, but it takes out all the other information. And um, as you see, this is how it works. So if you wanted to um, play around with the width, again, upper and lower, upper, lower. And now let's make it more narrow again. Let's just start with the lower. And then take the upper down. So that's pretty much how it works. Again, moving the material slowly. Take some practice using these line markers. Again, you can keep the power button on in the back and just turn it off with the remote. So this arm is pretty adjustable and if you want to try some distance viewing, you'll have to extend the arm a little bit more and then tilt the camera. Okay, so the key for this, when you're using distance vision, you have to take the lens off and it just kind of sits like that. Let's look inside my kitchen and at the same time we're going to use the magnification and see what, how close we can get. I'm looking for the clock. And just for fun, we'll look and see what's going on in the other room. How far can we see? Move the camera a little bit. Now we're going outside the window and you can see how far you can really see with this camera. The other thing I like about this um, Acrobat is it's pretty portable. Um, when it's unplugged and ready to move, it has a little handle here. And you know, it's really not that heavy. And if you just need to move it um, from one room to the other, it's not a big deal.